Can't stay out of it. It's so good. Mm. So moist. Got so much yummy flavor. It's awful close, babe. What's up guys, this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and we're gonna switch gears and move in the kitchen today because it's been raining all day. Got that really nice fancy Kubota tractor sitting out there in the driveway just screaming at me wanting me to go to work. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It really looks lonely out there all by itself, doesn't it? It's not raining right now at the moment, but it has been raining all day, and I really don't want to go out there and make a mud hole with that thing. So we're going to move into the kitchen, let my lovely wife get in on a little video action. Because uh, several months ago, she kept saying she was wanting to buy an Instapot. And for whatever reason, she just never went out and bought one. But she kept saying, I want an Instapot, I want an Instapot. And I think it was a hint. I think there was like a hint there. And all of a sudden, one day I got an email from a company called Kasori. And they said, hey, would you be interested in doing a review on the Kasori Premium 8-Quart Pressure Cooker? I said, uh, yeah, honey, I got you an Instapot. Well, technically it's not an Instapot, but it's the same thing. It's just a different brand. So this is the Kasori um, Premium 8-Quart Pressure Cooker. I wanted to go with the 8-Quart instead of the 6. Most people buy a 6. So we've been using this thing quite a bit. I cooked a pork loin in it the other day, split it down the middle, filled it with onions and peppers, and cooked it in the pressure cooker. Then she cooked a whole roast, potatoes, carrots, and everything. Yep. All right, how long did that take? Maybe 45 minutes? No, it was an hour. An hour? It was right at 60 minutes. Either way, an hour to cook a roast, which is something you normally put in your crock pot and cook all day long. And it was, it was actually really good. I'm, I was kind of surprised. So if you're not familiar with electric pressure cookers, they're a really neat little tool. You can do so many different things with them. Boil, saute, uh, like to brown all your meat first or whatever you're cooking in there. You can do all kinds of different rice recipes. Ouch. Oh, cat, sorry. Under attack. Jeez. <laughs> We're under attack. But there's so many different things you can do. Yeah, all the way down to like baking certain desserts, yogurt, there's just, it's, it's a time saver in the kitchen. The thing is, at least for us, it's all about saving time. I think that's why you wanted it, right? Yes, yes. So we're fixing to get into basketball season, which um, is crazy for us. You know, games start around, right at supper time and we have to travel a lot. And I think this will help us save a lot of time pre-prepping pre and meal planning and all that stuff. So we're gonna try it and see. Yeah, so one function of this, this uh, Kasori electric pressure cooker that I'm excited about is the ability to put everything in there, put whatever your meal is gonna be, your soup or beans or, or chicken, whatever it's gonna be, put all those ingredients in there and then set a timer and the thing will come on, set it two, three, four hours later and then you're not even in here cooking right before mealtime. You basically just come in and, and see that it, that it is cooked all the way and serve. Yep. It's awesome. So what are you gonna do today? Uh, so today we're gonna brown this chicken. We're gonna stuff this chicken. And then we're gonna rotisserie it. And gonna it's gonna be like a fake rotisserie chicken. So hopefully it's pretty good. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I might do chicken tortilla soup or some chicken enchiladas. I don't know yet. We'll see. So we're gonna be cooking a whole chicken in the Kasori 8 quart pressure cooker today. So I'm fixing to saute this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little saute button and start. I've got a little bit of olive oil in here and mixed with a little vegetable oil. And we're going to rub down the uh, chicken with the olive oil and then stuff it with onions and garlic, whole garlic, and tie the little legs. And we're gonna brown it on both sides. And then we're gonna take it back out and put some rub on it, and then we're gonna throw it in there. So that's the process. So while that chicken is sitting in here, browning up, sizzling, 
<laughs> we want to get we want it to brown up before we just throw it in there and pressure cook it. So you guys know, anytime I do you know a, like a product video on my channel, I try to talk the company into doing a giveaway. Just like when we did the barrel house cooker, we gave one of those away. Well, when Kasori contacted us about doing a review of this Kasori uh, pressure cooker, I said, I'm only going to do it if you're willing to do a giveaway for the same product on my channel because I want my subscribers to get something out of it. Instead of just watching a, a goofy product review video that you could watch anywhere, I at least want you guys to have the chance to get one of these for yourself. So there's going to be a link in the description box down below. Click on that link and we'll get you entered into the drawing. We'll probably let this run for about a week after this video posts. So if you're watching this within a week of the original posting date, be sure to check out that link below and uh, get entered because we're going to be giving one of these away. The eight quart I think runs around $159. So pretty good giveaway for our channel. So I really wish I could say this was a chicken that we grew here on our farm. Unfortunately, it's not. It's a store-bought chicken. But <laughs> we do have all the onion and garlic that we grew ourselves. So, I mean, it's somewhat a homegrown meal, right? <laughs> So for whatever reason, my wife doesn't want to stuff the bird. So she, so my wife's a chicken breast kind of girl. I mean, when Emily was about, Emily is 10 now. When Emily was about seven, I grilled a bunch of uh, um, chicken legs. And Emily, Emily said, Dad, these chickens have bones. Because for whatever reason, my wife would always just cook chicken breasts. And uh, she rarely ever buys a whole chicken or any chicken with a bone. So. We're stuffing the bird with garlic and onions. I'm losing my garlic here. I mean, there's not a whole lot of measuring going on. We just cut up about three small onions and I don't know, maybe 10 little cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna put the garlic in whole, stuff him in there, just like that. And you wanna tie it up, right? Yeah. So we got our chicken all browned up, stuffed it full of the onions and garlic, tied the legs together. We actually used dental floss, so maybe a little bit uh, minty fresh. And then we're gonna rub it down really good with garlic powder, paprika, hang on, what all's in there? Garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, um, chili powder, cumin, and just a few other things we found in the cabinet, but we're just gonna rub it down really well Nothing fancy, really. I mean, it's just a chicken. It smells delicious. I know that. Now that Daniel got the chicken seared and rubbed down, I'm going to use a cup of chicken stock. And put it in here. And then we're gonna use the trivet. Trivet, I don't know, however you say it. We're gonna put this in here and we're gonna put the chicken on top of it so that it gives some space between the chicken and the bottom of the pan so that it won't burn. And I guess I'm gonna put this chicken in here. Most of the dry rub on my hands. <laughs> oh well. Okay, guys, now we're gonna shut this. And you gotta do a good job sealing it or it will not work. Alright, so it is locked, and you have to turn this little knob to seal so that it won't let a bunch of steam out. Otherwise, it won't cook it correctly. Alright, so the directions that I'm using, the recipe, says to do manual and for 20, well it said 25 minutes cook time. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. 25 minutes and start. So yeah, it really is that simple. Get your bird ready to go in there. 
cook it for 25 minutes. We're gonna pressure cook this chicken for 25 minutes and then we're gonna do a natural pressure release. We're not gonna twist the valve and let the steam blow out. So it's actually gonna cook a little longer than that, but the heat is gonna be going, or the heat's gonna be being pushed to it for 25 minutes, let the pressure off for about 10 minutes, and then it's done. Okay, so the timer went off. Um, it was sealed, so it was holding in all the pressure. We released that, steam came out, and now we're gonna... Wait a minute, you did that after after it did a natural pressure release yes yes <laughs> sorry I didn't first look let's see how's it come out Ooh, look at the steam you're steaming up my lens <laughs> chicken facial well it looks yummy let's see if it's done there's some butt Mmm, look at that flaky chicken. Hey mom. Hey what? Guess what? What? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Now that's pretty awesome right there. We just cooked a whole chicken. It was probably still a little bit frozen on the inside. It wasn't frozen all the way through. We let it thaw for several hours, but cooked the whole thing in. How long did it cook? What was it? 25 minutes under pressure, 10 minutes on a natural pressure release and it's done and it smells amazing. Mmm, so good. So moist. Can't stay out of it. It's so good. Mm. So moist. Got so much yummy flavor. Awful close, babe. Well, there you have it. We are super satisfied with this Kasori eight quart pressure cooker. I know I like it, my wife loves it. It's gonna be awesome this winter because you can use this thing to cook so many different soups and stews and beans and chilies. all kinds of chilies and all those awesome wintertime comfort foods that we can just do so easily in this pressure cooker. So I'm excited about it, I know she is. And I hope you guys are interested in this. If you are, be sure to check that link down below. If you're interested in winning one of these, hit, hit the description box, go down below, and enter to win because I really, um, I really work hard to try to make sure these companies that we work with are willing to do these giveaways, and it's so awesome when they do. So one of you guys will win one of these eight quart Kasori pressure cookers. So that's all we've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.